Hi friends, it's time for Sunday School. So this is for May 10th or whenever you get a chance to watch this. Um, all right, so we're just gonna dive right in. Um, so this week we are talking about a few verses from the book of Psalms. So this is in the Old Testament. We've been talking about the New Testament um, because the New Testament covers Jesus' birth and his life and his death and resurrection. Um, and then the time after Jesus. Um, so the Old Testament is the time before Jesus was born. And so we're going to kind of shift gears from what we've been doing. So the book of Psalm, if you want to find the book of Psalm, I've got my Connect Bible here. And I'm going to go about halfway. And usually that ends up, if not in the book of Psalm, pretty close to it. So um, we are going to flip to Psalm 31. If you have your Connect Bible or another Bible, you can grab it and you can read with me or you can just listen. So this is Psalm 31, verse 1 through 5. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me, rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. So, wow. So in this scripture, um, this psalm is just hurting because someone is spreading gossip and rumors about them. They're trying to ruin their reputation. So that's something that I think um, even kids, you have had that happen before, right? You've had somebody say something unkind about you, maybe tell a lie about you. It could even be somebody your uh, brother or sister telling um, your parents something that you didn't do or um, maybe sharing something that you're embarrassed about. Um, so yeah, we've all had that happen before, right? Um, and so what this psalmist does is he cries out to God for help and says, God, I'm in pain. I am hurting. I need you. Um, and even though the psalmist was hurting and struggling, they knew that God was going to be with them and loved them no matter what. And so the psalmist knew that he, he he couldn't be sure if a friend or somebody was, what their reaction was going to be. He didn't know what who to go to. He went to God and God was there. And we can remember that God is always there for us. We can always go to God in prayer and always tell God what is going on. And he is always there for us and is always going to love us no matter what is going on. Um, that is something that I can tell you 100% certainty is that God is always, always, always going to love you. Um, he feels that way about us no matter what. Um, we are created in the image of God. And I want you to think about that. We are created, God created us to be in his image, which means that he loves us and he wants to care for us no matter what happens, which is so amazing. Um, so I want you to remember when you, when someone's being unkind or attacking you, or you know what, it doesn't have to be even that. If you are feeling sad and you are feeling like there is just nothing that's going to make you feel better right now, which is just how we feel sometimes. Sometimes you just feel bummed and you need somebody to talk to. And especially right now, it might be harder to talk to some of the people that you normally would get to talk to your problems about. You can always go to God and God is your refuge. He is your rock, which means that he is going to be a stable thing you can go to no matter what is going on. Um, okay, so for this week, the activity is pretty simple. Um, I have this coloring sheet and I'm sending it to your parents so they can print it out. If printing at home is a problem, please, please, please let me know and I would be happy to mail you a copy because it's kind of a fun um, coloring sheet that would be fun even for you older kids. Um, it's kind of created so that it's good for lots of ages, you can see. So definitely, please, if you cannot print this at home, please, please, please tell me. I do not mind putting it in the mail. Um, so just let me know. Um, okay, so this week, what I want you to do um, is start thinking about what your prayer looks like. So I want you to think about times that you could pray that maybe you don't always think to. Um, I want you to really pay attention to, if I'm feeling sad, can you take a moment to pray? And even when you're feeling really happy, when something is really making you excited, you can talk to God about that too. You can always pray. And I want you to remember, we've talked about this before, prayer does not always look like hands folded, heads bowed. That is not what prayer always looks like. 
prayer can look like your hands raised. It can look like your hands in your lap. It can look like you looking out into nature. Um, maybe you close your eyes. Sometimes I like to close my eyes because otherwise I get distracted by what's going on. But if I'm somewhere really beautiful, I might just look around and just take it in and just enjoy what I'm around. Um, whatever feels right to you, this is your conversation with God. And so I want you to find a way to pray and to tell God what's going on that makes you feel comfortable. We are going to be having a special project coming up soon and it's still in the works. So I'm not telling you a lot yet um, with the Lord's Prayer and I'm very excited about it. So I want you to start thinking about what prayer looks like for you and start practicing that, okay? So we are going to close this in prayer. So fold your hands, put your hands up, look forward, whatever feels good to you. Holy God, thank you for always loving us, for always being with us, and for always being a refuge when things are hard. Help us to remember to feel this and feel safe. Amen. All right. It has been wonderful to do Sunday School with you again this week. Please, please, please always know that you can email, call me, video chat me, text me, whatever you're needing. If you are needing to talk or if you just want to check in, I'm always here. Bye.